Welcome back. National Crime Victims Rights Week kicked off today. It's a week focused on helping crime survivors find justice by ensuring equity inclusion and expanding access to services. John Carnelli is here with a special event held today. John. Yeah, Kayla, New Mexico Attorney General Hector Balderas held an event today to honor crime victims he's defended, as well as announce some new renovations to his office to make the victims feel more comfortable. Brianna Zaru's story begins in 2015. I was just meeting up with a friend. I've known him for a long time. We went to school together. Um, we met up at a bar, and the last thing I remember was just taking a drink, and then I woke up in the hospital. For Zaru, the unimaginable happened. I was brutally raped. I was put in the hospital for the ICU for 14 days. Seven years later, Zaru is great. still battling the trauma she I've faces. And I'm still healing. Um, I know it takes a long time and, you know, it's, it's a long process. It's a long healing process. A lot of people heal differently. A lot of people go different routes with their healing. However, New Mexico's Attorney General Hector Balderas is looking to relieve some of the stress many crime victims face. A lot of our survivors are going to place their handprints here on the tree. The tree represents strength, uh, hope, and uh, opportunity. And we also want these handprints to be the first thing that potentially future victims see when they walk in uh, to the office of the Attorney General. Balderas has also renovated a room in his office. It now serves as a room for children who are victims of crime to make them feel more comfortable when they are interviewed. It's so important to have a warm, inviting environment for them, especially when they're dealing uh, with professionals. We, won't, we don't want the system to be cold and unsupportive. Small changes that survivors of crime say will make a difference. For me to have my hand on this wall is just an honor to let other people know that I survived and I, I was a voice or I am a voice, you know, and if I can help them, then that would be amazing. The event today also commemorated Child Abuse Awareness Month and Sexual Assault Prevention Month. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. John, thank you.